Beyond the celebrations, Pride Month is also a time to raise awareness about mental health issues facing members of the LGBTQ community. Yeah, many people struggle to get the care and the support that they really need. According to data from the CDC, LGBTQ plus adults are twice as likely to report that they've been diagnosed with depression and nearly a third report having poor mental health. And LGBTQ young people face similar struggles as well. Joining us now to talk more about these issues is Joy Alafia, the executive director of the California Association of Marriage and Family Therapists. Joy, thank you for taking the time here today. We are seeing across this country right now legislation targeting the LGBTQ community in many places. How much do you think the current political landscape that we're looking at affects the mental well-being of LGBTQ? people. Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, you know, I'm the, as the executive director for the California Association of Marriage and Family Therapists, I often talk with our members, the therapists, and I can tell you firsthand that the current political climate is affecting the LGBTQ plus population. It is affecting the mental health and even in Bay Area, uh, areas uh, and communities within the Bay Area. So it's, it's really important to be able to provide resources and support to address challenges that are uh, like anxiety and depression, the result from things that we're seeing uh, in this current uh, climate. And yeah. for people of color, LGBTQ plus people of color, you know, it's these mental health uh, ex it challenges are even compounded. Yeah, and Joy, we're going to talk about the resources in a moment, but why do you believe, aside from the current political landscape, why do you believe the LGBTQ plus community has more mental health and substance abuse challenges? Well, I, I think it just comes to the environment that we have, and I, I, I'm very glad to see, hopefully, with a new generation, more acceptance uh, and support and letting people live authentically who they are, and that's really important. If you're constantly um, having to just fight to exist and be you, that, that takes a toll uh, on one's mental health. And so this is one of the things as marriage and family therapists, we try to make sure that we have the right supports and structure, and we really need a community that's inclusive and um, affirming. It, we have talked a lot about the issues facing LGBTQ young people in particular. We know that they are much more likely to, to either consider or attempt suicide. How often are young people seeking mental health care but just unable to get it? Yeah, I don't have any uh, direct statistics, but we do know that uh, right now, frankly, we, we have a mental health crisis. Uh, there are uh, across many communities. There just aren't enough therapists for folks that want to help have help guiding uh, through their lives. And so at camp, we are really focused on identifying ways to improve the pipeline to therapists and also making sure that there is uh, that folks can come and see a marriage and family therapist and be free of stigma uh, associated with that. So it's it is a challenge, and I think we need to look at programs that can help reduce the barriers to accessing uh, care. And also, you want culturally competent care, right? So we need to diversify, and we're working on that as well, making sure that we have a diverse population of therapists that can provide that culturally competent care as well. And so people feel seen when they come to meet with their therapists. And Joy, when you mentioned the barriers that exist, especially for the LGBTQ plus community in getting the help that they need, what, what might some of those be? Oh, there's there's a host of things. So certainly, um, and not unique to the, the, the community at hand, it's things like cost. Uh, we need to see insurance rates and reimbursements come down so that for those that are lucky and fortunate enough to have insurance at the co-pays, aren't as high, and then we'll start to see more therapists being able to provide care while still earning a, a livable wage. Wage, so that's that's one thing that's very important. Uh, some things, uh, some folks still have a, a stigma associated with uh, seeing uh, a therapist. So we need to be able to address that as well and really understand that a therapist, I'd like to say, you know, if your car, you take your car to get a tune-up. Um, you get a, a check from your doctor every year. It's the same with therapy. You want to see a therapist to help counsel and provide that support through life. 
Yeah, yeah. And, when, and when you're going to therapy, it's about having a, a connection with, with the person that you're speaking with here. Do, do, do we need more members of the LGBTQ plus community to, to get into this field and become therapists? Absolutely. I'm going to say we want everyone. It, this is an inclusive practice and we want to re, we want to reflect um, the populations in general. So for any underrepresented uh, group, we want to make sure that we have these therapists uh, available and so folks can be seen. And that said, there we also provide at, at our organization, we provide training. For everyone mm. so that they have the skills that they need to work with varying various populations and communities as well so we have training on gender affirming care and things of this nature so really you can find a good therapist i think the bigger challenge oftentimes is being able to identify a therapist right now and there are some resources out there to help with that I, i'd like to uh, point out the oakland lgbtq plus community center and that's obviously in oakland and the billy defrank center in san jose are some great resources for folks who might be seeking a therapist right now all right wonderful mm -hmm. thank mm -hmm. you for putting that out there we, we appreciate the conversation and the perspective joy alafia who is the executive director of the california association of marriage and family therapists thank you so much for your time today we appreciate yes, it thank you thank you for having me